Welcome back, everybody. I want to thank every, all the new subscribers and all the feedback I've been getting along the way on this build. Um, I know we're still pretty early in on this, but uh, I do appreciate all the support. This is going to be the first build of many um, that I want to present to you guys, um, and we'll both learn along the way. So I hope you uh, share and uh, hit that like button and uh, go ahead and subscribe. Now, let's get started um, with the build here. So yesterday, we uh, joined the wing halves together using the Gorilla Glue. As you can see, I have a nice clean joint. Uh, it's got the correct amount of dihedral on the bottom and the uh, fairly flat on the top, very little dihedral. Works out, worked out perfectly on there. I got my holes here that are cleaned out for my aileron servo leads that are going to come in from the wings all the way in and then up into the top of the fuselage or into the bottom of the fuselage, right, where it mounts. So that all worked out really well, came out beautiful. So uh, the next step is we want to fiberglass this wing together. Uh, that is going to be the main strength of this wing. Uh, to do that, we will be using some... Uh, uh, some composite resin. So the first steps that we're going to be doing is we're going to take the, the thicker fiberglass and we're going to lay it in the center. Um, and then I like to do this. It's not a requirement. This is usually all that's given to most kits and it should be suffice, it should suffice the, uh, the, for the strength. However, but I like to take some extra fiberglass cloth on top of that. It's a little bit thicker. And we'll lay that over there as, as, as well, and that kind of spreads that load just a little bit. So we'll, we'll, we'll get started with that. And to do this, I'm um, going to have to have some, some paper towels nearby and uh, some gloves. You really don't want to get much of this on your hands. So I have some nitro gloves here for this. You're mixing sticks. An acid brush and a little container to have it mixed in. I have some alcohol nearby. I have a little spray bottle with some alcohol for cleanup along the way. So I'm going to go ahead and change the uh, camera angle. We're going to get in a little bit closer here and uh, you'll be able to see what I'm doing along the way. Okay, and uh, just like with uh, covering an aircraft, um, I like to start with the bottom and then wrap the top over the bottom uh, layers. Uh, so that's what we'll start with here. Is we're going to go ahead and start with the bottom. We'll do this, this and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so first things first. We're going to go ahead and mix a little bit of the epoxy here. Okay. So you can see we have our uh, mixture here. We're going to go ahead and stir this up a little bit. Make sure it's good and mixed. And then before I get started, so I don't get any of this on my hands, I'm going to get my gloves on. So I may have to remaneuver. Okay. So first, I'm going to start with that bottom layer first. I want to get this one lined up, and uh, we'll get it lined up perfectly right on here. And you've got to make sure you can see that seam because you want to be pretty darn centered on that seam. And I can just barely see it underneath there. So, there we go. Now that we have some of our epoxy here, I'm going to go ahead and start from the center. I'm going to try to push that through, make sure it sticks. And actually, sometimes it helps to take a little bit of this and Get it underneath there first. So 
And I actually need to thin this out just a little bit with some denatured alcohol. Lay this back down on top now. Just keep spreading it out on top of it and working our way down. And basically you just want to get make sure that this the, the uh, fiberglass is, ex is very, very wet. It uh, definitely will stick a lot better if it's really wet. Be careful not to get it on your clothes because it will dry that way. So we've got that nice and wet now. We can go ahead and transfer this piece back over that. Make sure you're centered. You need to wiggle it around a little bit then you just do so. You just don't want any air bubbles in there either. Because if you have air bubbles, then it's not adhesion, adhesion is not going to be very strong between those two joints. And remember, this is the strength of this wing now. This is going to be what's holding this aircraft, this wing together. There's no wing joiner in this. Just get that over the edge there. And I left enough over there on that side that I can fold it under and you do got to work fairly fast you don't have tons of time to work with this stuff even though this is a little bit slower to cure than than uh, regular epoxy which you could use that instead of this stuff um, just want to make sure you thin it out some if you do because it'll spread a lot nicer I'm going to use a little bit of this alcohol spray to make this a little bit easier to it'll thin it out a little bit and allow me to go ahead and spread this out a little bit more. Now if you want to take out any of that excess you can with a paper towel. Um, it'll kind of absorb right into it. Okay. I'm going to take a, my next piece here that's a little bit wider. We're going to lay that right back on top of this one. And you see that soaks in there really nicely already. This is a lot thinner. This is only three quarter ounce. Um, not adding much weight. Just really, all this is really for is just to kind of spread that load out. I remember you always want to be going away from the center. Take out some of that air bubbles. I can already tell this stuff is already starting to set in, so I'm going to have to start moving a little quicker here. And um, got to get it out of this container, basically. I'm going to spray a little bit of alcohol on here to help it spread. There's the stuff that's starting to set up here. Clean up this mess here. But that gets all hard. And we're going to take this paper towel. I'm just going to let it soak up the excess here. Just like this. Okay, so that's that side. We'll go ahead and flip it around. See if we can get to the next side really quick. Get it all in one shot. See how much of this I got left here. I think I can get it.
It's okay if you cover up these holes. We can cut them back out later. It's not a big deal. I'm going to get these air bubbles out. And this is going to create a nice, strong bond between these two wing halves. And then also remember, I am going to be fiberglassing this whole plane too. So it's going to be like a surfboard anyway. Um, So that's starting to set up. I'm going to grab another piece of paper towel here. I'm going to sop up the juice here. Get a little bit of that excess out off of there. Remember, we don't want too, too much on there. Get all those pieces down and flat. And these strings. I need to get better scissors. I can cut this a little better. I had a pair and lost them. There's no need to have too much fiberglass or so, too much uh, resin on here. There's just takes longer to cure. But you do want it wet enough. So it's that happy uh balancing act you got to do you don't want too much but you don't want too little there we go and there it is now we let that cure so that's going to be an overnight deal. Uh, once that's cured, uh, we'll be good to go. So the servos that I'm going to be putting in this wing are DS339HVs from Corona. They're Hobby King servos. Um, they work very well. I've been using them in my, uh, my Cougar uh, very successfully. They're very fast servos at uh, 0.13 seconds to go 60 degrees of travel. They're plenty strong enough for this size aircraft. Um, and like I said, I'm using them in my, uh, my Cougar. I have not had one fail yet. Knocking on that wood. Um, but uh, they're nice, small, light servos. They're going to fit nice, nicely into the wing where I uh, put in the holes here. Uh, servo leads will need to be extended. Uh, so I'll be doing that on one of these videos as well if you're interested. Just leave a... a, a uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to go through soldering these. I am all done for today. Uh, we're going to let this cure uh, overnight. Tomorrow we'll do a little bit of sanding on that, make sure everything is nice and smooth. Uh, it's uh, already starting to uh, congeal here, so it's on its way to being cure, uh, to curing. And uh, that's all we got. Well, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. And... Uh, Happy holidays to everybody.